What's up everybody? Welcome to my review of the Dynamic Discs Getaway in Fusion Plastic. This one is the Bursty Fusion. It's a beautiful disc. Thank you once again to Dynamic Discs for sponsoring this video. Go to dynamicdiscs.com. They're one of my longest and best sponsors I've ever had here on the channel and I really, really appreciate their continued support. Stay tuned for many more Latitude, Westside, and DD reviews coming up here soon. Once they release new stuff, I'll be checking out new stuff. In fact, I actually think I have a uh, older, more classic mold I haven't tested yet on the way coming here soon. So thanks again to DD. Go to dynamicdisc.com to check out the website. You can find it in the description below. Get yourself some sweet plastic and anything else you might need. So, 950.5 and fade of 3. Getaway is a stable fairway driver and I would have to agree with that sentiment. You can see the burst is pretty rad on this one. It's like a pink with like a super light green, yellowish vibe to it. It's a really pretty disc. Very interesting and kind of unique in terms of the color on this one. I really like it. And it's got a great feel. Um, definitely somewhat of a dome to it. Nice rounded dome. Pops a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Comfortable feel in the hand. Nothing sharp or anything like that. It's maybe a little bit of flashing that's still on there. And it's also maybe a little deep. More deep than some other discs. But overall, feels real nice. And I would definitely agree with the flight numbers. Let's put it up next to a couple other things. First of all, the recoil by Latitude 64. Recoil is a weird color, so it's hard to film for some reason, but there they are next to each other. Recoil seems a little more shallow, a little faster for sure. Um, then I also have, let's see, what else do I have? Also, I have an Instinct, which is a Discmania product, even though it is made, once again, by Latitude 64. Um, and there they are side by side. Instinct definitely slower, not as overstable. Um, what else do I have for you? A Lucid Escape, similar flight numbers, and just a little bit, definitely more understable. 9.5, negative 0.5, and 2. Interesting. So, basically the same flight numbers, minus a slight variation in the fade, and you can see side by side, they're not that much different. So if you're into the Escape, and you like the way it flies, but you want something that's an overstable complement to the Escape, Getaway, more or less the perfect disc for that, um, in terms of flight numbers, and I think my testing as well. Also, we have a uh, Vulture, an ESP plastic from Discraft. Let's put it up next to that. These are also quite similar in terms of their use, although the design has definitely got some differences there. I think the flight numbers are, are pretty, pretty similar as well, even though it's not marked, so I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head. All in all, beautiful disc, feels great. I like it a lot. It has a nice, kind of softer feel to this Fusion Plastic that's been coming out lately, and I like that. It's got some give, some flexibility. It's real grippy, and I'm sure it'll still be plenty durable. And the getaway, starting off pretty overstable, will break in to fly a little straighter, but it should still have that integrity to fade out at the end of the flight. Let's take a look at some shots with this thing. It's pretty overstable, and it's definitely more or less flies exactly as the numbers would suggest. Um, you can throw it out there nice and flat and hard. It will go out straight. It has good glide, good carry for its speed. Nine is a great speed range for the average player, I would say, as well. It's really nice if you don't have a big arm. A lot of times you will get more distance and consistent flights out of a little bit slower molds. That's why I've been throwing my Furies a lot lately. They're speed nine, and I've been trying to kind of disc down to those for more of my distance shots because I don't have a big arm, and it's tough to kind of maximize the flight of a, of a faster disc. The Getaway would be a really solid option if you're looking for a stable to overstable fairway driver in a little bit lower speed that might match your arm speed a little better. That being said, big power players like the top players on Team DD can definitely throw and enjoy a Getaway as well. This particular one, um, Jason Harden had tested it um, last year because I've had this one in my in my uh, stock for quite a while and he told me it was more overstable um, significantly more overstable than some of the other ones he had tested so this particular kind of more rounded top fusion definitely a little bit more stable than perhaps a lucid getaway I cannot speak to that personally but that is just a, a data point I want to include in this video from our testing it's something you can throw flat and hard it'll go straight with good carry and have a strong fade once it starts to slow down it holds a hyzer super well you can throw gentle flexes with it and yeah really just aligns with the flight numbers quite well um, I enjoy testing it a lot again if you like throwing things like furies or escapes and you want something that has more uh, stability 
You can throw it harder without it turning over and you can count on it to come back pretty much no matter what you do with it, but it's still not tough to throw or too fast for your arm speed. I think the getaway would be a phenomenal option for that. A little bit more overstable than the musket, but somewhat similar for sure in terms of their use out there on the course. So I really enjoyed testing the getaway. Thank you once again to Dynamic Discs. Thanks to all you guys for watching. If you would like to win this getaway, all you have to do, go down in the description below, look for a Google form and fill that out. But here's the thing, pay attention. I keep having giveaways where people win the giveaway, I announce the winner, I email them, and I never hear from them. This happened multiple times. That's probably frustrating to hear from people who really would like to win these giveaways and always make sure that they look for the winner's announcement and all that kind of stuff. So here's the deal. From now on, with any giveaway I do, you fill out that Google form. You don't have to be subscribed or any of that kind of stuff. That's great. You know, if you want to subscribe... I would appreciate you like the video on the giveaways in particular. That's the only time I really ask you to do that, but it's not required. All you really have to do is fill out that Google form and you're entered to win. I will pick you at random. Once I choose a winner, I will upload a video announcing the winner of the, of the disc at that same time. Within a day or two, I will send you an email. You have two weeks from when that email gets sent out to get back to me or I'm giving it to someone else. And that's how this is going to work from now on. Um, firm two weeks that's it so make sure you check your spam folder and stuff if you um, enter these giveaways and really the best way to do it is stay subscribed to the channel and look for that winner's announcement video that's what i would prefer happen i think that would be more fun for you guys and it would make sure it actually got to the people who win the giveaway so sorry that that had to be a long kind of thing and in, input into this video it's something that needed to be said i'll make sure um, you guys understand that with any other videos as well thank you so much for watching good luck i'll check you later cheers thank you so much for watching and big thank you to all of my patreon supporters if you would like to see your name listed in the credits of all of my videos go to patreon.com slash disc golf nerd